Imagine you'd like to put a staircase along the side of a pyramid. How much material do you need? You need to measure the length of the side of the pyramid in order to determine that. When you look at the pyramid, however, looking from the north, the west, or above, you cannot use a ruler to determine the actual length of the side of the pyramid because they're all at oblique angles. You need to be able to put each of the lines that you see, the sides of the pyramid, into one plane in order for you to be able to measure the length of the side and then determine the amount of material needed. That's what we call the true length problem. The true length problem requires us to measure the length of a line or an object which isn't perpendicular to the viewing plane. If you look at the box I've got in front of me, we've got two sticks in the box. Looking from where you are, that is the north, you can see the green and the black stick inclined to each other. I've represented them on this sketch in that way. If you look from above, and when you look from this side, that's what you see. From the three views, using a ruler, you cannot determine the actual length of the two sticks. This is where we need to determine the true length of the two sticks using geometry. There are two methods which can be used to determine the length of the two sticks. The first method is the rotation method and the second method is the auxiliary plane method. Having translated our demonstration box into sketches on paper, the next step is for us to straighten up the lines to be able to determine the true length of the two sticks in the cube. Working with our plan, you can see that that represents the black stick and that represents the green stick. So we're going to put both of them on the horizontal plane by rotating the images in the north and west views. Let's work with the images in the north view. We're going to take our compass and place it in the one corner, open it wide to the extent of the black stick and bring that down to our horizontal. We'll do the same for the green stick. Bringing it down to the horizontal. Once we've done that, we need to extend that construction line to cross the arc from the green stick. We're going to drop the lines from these curves where they intersect the horizontal and bring them vertically downwards to our plan. We'll put that aside. Having dropped the vertical lines, the next step is to find where these vertical lines intersect with the horizontal line coming from the corresponding stick. So that represents the black stick. And from the top of the black stick, which is the point which we have brought down, we've drawn a horizontal line. So with that vertical line coming from the curve intersects with that horizontal line, that is our point of interest for the black line. 
and from there we draw a line which is going to represent the true length of the black stick. In a similar fashion, this is the green stick. From that point, we've dropped our curve and our vertical li line, and it's intersecting with that point there. So we're going to draw our line representing our true length of the green stick. And that represents the true length of our green stick. So to verify that what we have done is actually correct, we're going to take the black and the green sticks out of the box and put them onto our true length drawings. So we'll start with the black stick and we'll place it over our true length. And you can see that indeed that is the correct true length. We'll do the same for the green stick. Once again, that is the true length. We can measure the true length with our ruler. And for the green stick, it's 15 centimeters. And for the black stick, it's 12 centimeters. And we'll go and measure on our diagram and we'll find it's just above 12 centimeters. And just above 15 centimeters.